Hey, what's up everybody? So today's video, I want to show you guys how to make your own shampoo bars. We are going to whip up some aloe and we are going to make shampoo. All you will need, of course, is aloe and a couple of oils. So you can use tea tree oil, shea butter, coconut oil. You could just use any oil that you have along with melt and pour soap that you can buy from a craft store like Michael's. Mix in some aloe vera and it's good to go. So let me go right ahead and show you guys. So of course, one of my ingredients will be aloe vera. But the main star of the show is the melt and pour soap that I bought from Michaels. And so that's what it looks like. And next I will use some African shea butter so I get the white chunky kind. And then some mango butter oil. And then also some peppermint oil which has some essential oils in it. And then last but not least some coconut milk. Now you also want to make sure to grab some soap mold so you can get plastic or you can get silicone which is better quality. Now I scoop a good chunk of aloe vera into my blender and then blend, blend, blend and then grab a stocking cap or cheesecloth to drain out all of the yuckiness from the aloe vera. And once you pour it into the stocking cap, make sure to use your hand to squeeze out all of the goodness because you don't wanna sit there and wait all day for this to drain out. So just go right ahead and use your hand to squeeze it. And that's what it looks like when you squeeze it all out. Next, grab a knife so you can cut into the melt and pour soap. I cut into one of the one-fourth sections, so I did about half of that section, which yielded a big size chunk that fit into the palm of my hand. And um, let me see, I'm trying to get it out. There you go. That is how big the soap is. So now, go right ahead and take that soap and melt it into your pot. And then put one fourth cup of African chunky shea butter into your pot. Then follow up with that with one fourth cup of your aloe vera gel. And one fourth cup of coconut milk. Next, put in some peppermint oil. Now, don't be shy, put in as many as I did. I put in six. And then lastly, some mango butter oil. Now go right ahead and stir everything up that's in the pot. And then carefully pour your soap into your soap molds. And you can leave that out or you can place that into the freezer to harden. Here they are. And you can see it's all nice and hardened and it wasn't too hard to take out. But look, look at it. Ah, I love it. And um, here I'm just going to wash with it you see look look at how it suds up and here I am taking a shower with it I am washing my hair with the soap bar that I made myself in my own kitchen it's crazy like look look at how it's sudsing up like it was so awesome in my hair like I just loved it and at first I was scared that it was going to dry out my hair but it did not so these soap bars were very very easy to make this one is the shampoo one and I decided to also do one for my face, like a face wash. So this is the same exact ingredients that I use as this one, but I just put some turmeric in it, in which that is why there are three different colors going on right here. If you have any tips or tricks, if you have made soap before, please let me know in the comments section. I've used this soap on my last video when I used the Miel Clay 
mask so if you're afraid that it's going to mess up your hair it won't because I used it and it was amazing in my hair I got my hair all nice and clean and if you don't have a soap mold you can use a plastic cup to mold your soap so um, it is kind of hard to get out as you can see here but you will eventually get it out and this is what it looks like if you like this video, please like it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.